humanoid robots are ready to be sent to space. Robots are now being sent to space. India is sending humanoid robots to space as part of their Gangayan mission. Join us as we reveal all the details. A humanoid robot resembling a human and behaving like one will be on board the Indian Space Research Organization's ISRO's first unmanned space voyage. On January 18, 2019, ISRO chairman K. Sivan made this disclosure. However, the status of this humanoid seems to be a matter of some confusion. According to Sivan, we have our humanoid model that will be used and it is nearly ready, he said in the first report. But two days later, a different news story detailing a meeting between two ISRO scientists, Tirta Pratim Das and Raghu N, and a Ranchi-based amateur humanoid creator, Ranjit Srivastav, the researchers wanted to see if Srivastav could modify Rashmi, the robot he created for ISRO, to their specifications. To prepare its space modules for manned spaceflight, ISRO wants its humanoids to be able to imitate activity as closely as possible to human physiology and characteristics. But why were ISRO scientists looking for another humanoid if they already had one? Later, the scientists informed Srivasta that ISRO in Bengaluru would undertake a review before deciding whether Rashmi would be the first Indian humanoid in space. The robotic astronaut that will be aboard the Gangayan when it makes its first mission in December has been given the name Vyamitra by the Indian Space Research Organization. The robots can perform a variety of tasks and has several features, including the ability to control the capsule's switch panels and the ability to act as a companion who can converse with the astronauts, recognize them, and respond to their queries. In the words of the robot, which was unveiled this week, the Indian Space Research Organization is creating the humanoid space robot Vyamitra to work on the crewed orbital spacecraft Gangayan. Vyamitra has a feminine appearance. At a conference on human spaceflight and exploration held in Bengaluru on January 22, 2020, Vyamitra made its debut. In addition to participating in unmanned experimental Gangayan missions before crewed spaceflight missions, it will travel into space with Indian astronauts. In contrast to other countries that have conducted manned space flights, ISRO intends to avoid flying animals on board experimental missions. Instead, it will use humanoid robots to fly to learn more about how radiation and weightlessness affect the body of a human during extended space flight. Viamitra can provide useful information from this initial uncrewed flight regarding how Gangayan would behave if a person was strapped in and at the controls. Thanks to its bilingualism and semi-anthropomorphic nature, the robot is built to have an expressive face and lip-sync abilities for information conveyance via voice, including messages from ground control. It is reportedly capable of performing all crew responsibilities, including operating environmental and life support systems. As agencies from the United States, US, Japan, Canada, and Germany have created and successfully dispatched humanoids to conduct various experiments in space, this is not the first time a humanoid will be used for space travel. The United States National Aeronautic and Space Administration, NASA, created the Robonaut 2 humanoid, helping astronauts on the International Space Station, ISS, since 2011. Robonaut is intended to work as a human, with human-like hands and arms that can handle the same tools crew members use, according to NASA. Using the Robonaut task board within the International Space Station, a Robonaut can operate switches, take off dust covers, build handrails, and conduct other tasks. According to NASA, humanoid robots will be able to work alongside people on spacewalks, with future development upgrades. Before launching the Robonaut into space, NASA worked on the project for 15 years. It took four years to produce the humanoid's initial iteration. Russia will send Fedor, a humanoid robot, to the International Space Station on board its unmanned Soyuz rocket. In 2017, FEDOR stirred up controversy when Dmitry Rogozin, Russia's deputy prime minister, released a video of the robot firing firearms with both hands. The Indian humanoid sector will receive a significant boost, and the Indian space industry would benefit if ISRO successfully launched its humanoid in space project. Santosh Hulawale said he believes that sending a humanoid into orbit first is a smart move. It would be challenging to supply an animal's demands if it traveled there, according to Santosh Hulawale, an independent inventor and humanoids developer in Mumbai. There will be issues with waste management and oxygen supply inside the module, for instance. 
A humanoid would function similarly to a human and wouldn't need these facilities. The fact that it can function continuously without getting wary is even better. Also remotely controllable from Earth, the robot can be instructed to carry out particular tasks. Additionally, there are no risks of fatalities, which would be the case if animals were utilized, he continues. Since 2008, Hulawale has focused on humanoids, and in 2016, he created his first robot, Indro. He then created two additional iterations of the humanoid robot known as Indro 2.0 and Indro 3.0, which have about 47 unique joints and 29 server motors, and are very near to replicating human movement. Taking inspiration from testing done with human-like dummies to assess the safety of cars, a humanoid with sensors attached to it can also tell us if it will be safe for a human to fly in the same module to space and simulate human spaceflight from the collected data, Hulawale says. He did note certain issues with the state of humanoid research, though. At the current state of technology, humanoids cannot perform all duties, even if they are built to do so. Basic artificial intelligence, which consists of software applications and learning algorithms, where significant work has been done, is where humanoids like Sophia that can communicate with people are based more. However, Hulawale notes that little progress has been made in getting these robots to move like people. She has a voice. She can identify people. She can imitate their actions in space. She is even able to carry on discussions and provide answers. Viamitra is a humanoid robot that can travel into space created by the Indian Space Research Organization. The ambitious launch of India's first human spaceflight mission will be preceded by test flights that include the half-humanoid named Viamitra. According to Viamitra, she can imitate an astronaut crew's behavior and even recognize them and react to their inquiries. At a ceremony in Bengaluru on Wednesday, Isro debuted Viamitra, who introduced herself to the media as, Hi! I'm Vayumitra, the prototype of half-humanoid. The robot claimed to be able to control switchboards, communicate with humans, and keep an eye on a spacecraft's environmental and life support systems. Before sending people inside one of its Gangayan craft, it will enable ISRO to evaluate how space travel affects the human body. Exact human functions will be simulated there in space. It will verify if the system is correct. This will be very helpful in simulating flight like a human. ISRO chairman K. Steven briefed reporters at a media gathering where the agency debuted the robot. Viamitra doesn't have legs. Thus, an ISRO scientist claims that she is just partially human. Due to the absence of legs, it is known as a half-humanoid. Only forward and to the side may bend. In addition to doing specific studies, it will constantly communicate with the ISRO command center, explained Sam Dayal, an ISRO scientist. Later this year, when unmanned flights are made to space as part of the Gangayan project, the space agency intends to launch Viamitra into orbit. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ambitious plan to send Indians to space, known as the Gangayan project, was revealed in his 2019 Independence Day address. Even though Viamitra's appearance will undoubtedly generate headlines about its assumed gender, sending robots into space is nothing new. Just one year ago, a beautiful Astro B robot from NASA took to the skies on its own inside the International Space Station. Regardless of their design, robots are more capable than humans of handling the stresses associated with leaving the Earth's atmosphere when it comes to the obstacles of space flight. Please use the space below to write your opinions, while we continue to work on creating more videos like this. We would love to get your opinions on it. We have now concluded this video. We sincerely hope that you had fun seeing the video. Please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you haven't already. Remember to click the bell symbol to ensure you never miss another update from our channel.